Hey, hi, how are you? Hello, I am fine. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. So I got your profile for evaluation and I'm going to evaluate you based on your technical skills, uh, mostly on programming. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to write two programs and you have to write those two programs. Before that, can you tell me your uh, technical skill set, uh, your years of experience, uh, what version of Java you are using and your current roles and responsibilities? Uh, so I have uh, 2.5 years of experience working in IT industry and uh, the technical skills that I possess are uh, I work on Core Java, I work on Spring, I work on Hibernate, I have worked on uh, Struts, uh, then databases, microservices, and uh, Spring Boot. Uh, apart from that, the version that we use in our uh, project is Java 8. And uh, when it comes to roles and responsibilities, so uh, we develop enhancements and we develop, uh, we fix bugs. For enhancements, we uh, get the requirement from BA and then we convert that requirement into, uh, into uh, uh, programs. So that is my roles and responsibilities. Okay, perfect. I have provided you a problem segment in chat box. Uh, can you open it and paste it into a notepad and share your screen? Uh, yes. So let me. Okay. So this is the problem statement that I got from the chat. Mm, yes. So if you see, uh, I have provided input as an array. So it is an uh, array of numbers. What do you have to do? You have to provide use an output array okay and that output array contains your sum of all the elements of input array plus the element so you have to add each element with sum and put it into a new array okay okay all right uh, so uh, let me quickly uh, try to understand this so the output uh, input is 10 20 30 40 and 50 uh, and the sum of these elements is 150. Okay. Now I have to produce the output such that uh, each element is added with the sum. So 10 plus 150 is 160. Similarly, 20 plus 150 is 170 and so on and so forth. Correct? Okay? Yes, correct. Yeah. All right. Perfect. So let me try to code this. Uh, I have uh, opened the Eclipse. Are you able to see the uh, screen Eclipse? Yes, I can see. Yeah. So let me create a main method. I have created a program one and within that uh, there's a main method. Mm, I'm going to do uh, this operation using a list. So in the list, we will have all the elements that you uh, just showed me. So I'm going to call this list as uh, numbers. And similarly, I'm going to use arrays dot as list. And I'm going to copy the input that you gave me, which is 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So uh, this is the input. Now my array list is ready. After creating array list, I will try to get the sum of all the numbers. So to get sum of all the numbers, I'm going to do numbers dot uh, stream. Stream is getting series of objects from your array list. And from that stream, I'm going to use something called as uh, reduce. And to reduce, I'm going to pass the initial value and then the accumulator, which is integer dot sum. So this is known as accumulator. And I'm going to take uh, the result in integer sum. So this is a variable where I have sum of all the numbers which are in the list. So the sum will be 150 in our case. Okay. And this is a method reference. So two columns. Now the sum is ready. Uh, I want to add this sum to each element. And for that, I need to use map function of streams. So to do that, I'm going to use numbers dot stream and I'm going to use map. So map takes uh, your argument and you can transform your argument from one value to another value. So in our case, we need to add. So let's try, I'll call it each element as X. And then I am going to do X is equal to X plus sum. So this is my transformation step where I'm adding sum to each element of uh, the list. Now what I'll do, I'll try to collect the result into a different array list. So collect and while collecting, there is a convenience class known as collectors. So collectors has some methods 
by using which you can collect your output. So I want the output in the form of list. So uh, collectors dot to list. And as we are collecting the element in the form of list, we will also capture this in the list. So it will be list of integer or uh, transformed list. So I'm going to call this as transformed list. In the transformed list, you will have each element added by the sum of array. And after this, I'm going to do a uh, sysout and I'm going to print transformed list. So now transform list should have the output. Uh, let me try to run this program. So run as the application. Okay, so as you can see, it is 160, 70, 80, 90, and 200. So sum is added uh, to each element of the array. Okay, perfect. It is working. So I have provided another problem statement in the chat box. Can you share it? Uh, yes. So let me copy it. Yeah. So it is here. Uh, this is the one. Yeah. Second. Perfect. So you can see our uh, input. Uh, I have provided a list of countries. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to convert all the countries into uppercase. And then you have to separate out them by comma, but it should be a string representation. Okay, all right. So this is a list at line number four. The input will be in the form of list and the output should be string, okay? And the input uh, should be converted to uppercase first. So for example, Japan, Japan is uh, lowercase, uh, starting from uppercase and then lowercase. It should all be uppercase and the output should be in the form of string and it should be comma separated. All right. Yes, correct. All right. So let me try this. Mm, I'll copy your input. So I'll copy this and I'll try to form a list of uh, strings. Okay. So let me do that. It is list of string and I'm going to call this as countries equal to arrays dot as list and I'm going to uh, paste the uh, list of paste the countries itself and from this I'm going to use um, so in this case I'm going to use countries dot stream similarly as we did in the previous uh, example and here I'm going to use map uh, map function is used to transform each value from your input uh array so for map i'm going to do x and the first thing that i have to do is uh, convert everything to uppercase so it is x dot to uppercase so this will convert uh, each element of the above array list to the uppercase so uh, japan will become uppercase j a p a n all right and after uh, converting each element to the uppercase now i have to collect the element but the output should be string so I'm going to use collect and uh, there is something called as joining. So uh, to convert uh, this into string, uh, I can use collectors and within collectors, there is a method known as joining. So joining takes a delimiter. Delimiter, uh, delimiter is a character by which you want to separate each element of the array list. So in our case, the delimiter is comma. And I just want to put a space next to comma. So it should be USA comma space Japan comma space France. So that's that is the reason I'm doing comma space. After this, uh, my output will be in string. So string str. All right. So let me try to print this. This is out str. This will be my output. So I'm just printing the output uh, str. So let's try to run this. You can see everything is converted into uppercase. So if you see Japan, Japan is converted to uppercase and then it is comma and then space. So I think uh, that's it. Okay, perfect. So I'm done from my side. Do you have any questions for me? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. Thank you. Okay, okay perfect. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.